This is what remained of what there about 30 families have been calling home after the houses were demolished. Ona lo likame na kuja na ilikuwa na na askari na raja walikuwa wengi sana pijana waka kuja ni mchanga sana ni kastuka sasa ni kastuka sasa yeye bata fungua busi yangu na iye dakwa busi na mi na kimbi ya na iyo na si ni tanda wa bi ata si ni tapa ya ni ni mi mi kachanga ni 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 na endelea kwa uriza wakaniambia niame ngawa uriza ni naenda wapi na apa papaangu mimi nimesaliwa hapa na papaangu nimemshika hapa na mama yangu na my brothers na watoto wengine wetu wali nini walishikwa hapa the alleged owner of the controversial land having secured a court order directing their eviction from the property. Cyrus Kariukinjine claimed the families have been illegally occupying his land since the time it was allocated to him during the adjudication of the area in 1978. Kila kitu iko na limit. Sababu challenge anybody and let your court order ile inasema kuna hata kama ni eviction inasema to destroy properties ukiangalia hii ni property destruction in the protests walikuwa na court order some of the families occupying the land indeed admitting as much saying they found themselves landless following the demarcation of the land in 1978 thus becoming squatters on land that has been allocated to other people kama miaka Arobaina tano tukiwa apa na uyu uyu mtu anazema hii shambani yake atuja muana ata siku moja ata atujui vizi yake ata wakati waliku apa ange tambulika ndiye nani apa akuna neimba na mujua yani hii ni kitu kilifanya tushangaya sana The families are now calling on the government to come to their aid Let the government come quickly Na kama community, diyo tunasema hivi. Tunmelilea matiang, tunanilea uhuru, na other good men or good faith. Hii matatiso ya mwea, la 78, kwanza imaleso. Waja hawa watu wapatua mabarua kumiliki hii mashamba. 